Well, you've clicked on the link. Obviously, you got some kind of pressure vessel that you need to uh, test. Uh, coolant system would obviously be the common one. My name is Brian, this is Denny, and we're going to try to kind of walk you through a good way to test because obviously, yeah, you can roll it outside or if it maybe even looks like an old motorcycle gas tank or a tractor gas tank or whatever. You can, you know, fill it full of gas and watch it all roll out. Or a little more professional way to do it is with a pressure tester. Perfect. So let's show them how to do it. Sounds good. What we have here, Brian, is our, our coolant pressure tester, and it's set up on a bladder type of an affair mm -hmm. so that you do not need all the different adapters. Mm -hmm. And what it, it, how it works is that with the pressure, if you can just run the pressure piece there, mm -hmm. there's, if you look on here, it says bladder and system. By pushing this towards the bladder, when we pump on that, the bladder Ooh. here comes Ooh. out. Ooh. And then we can slide this over and seal it so now you're putting air into the system. So you're sealing on this. You don't need all the adapters. My three-row will be fascinated by this. <laughs> exactly. I mean, he could play with this thing for hours. For hours. <laughs> you hand me the red adapter. We put that onto the, onto the radiator. If you put it on the right direction. If you direction. put it on the right direction, it fits a go. lot better. Mm -hmm. Then this sits into the radiator and okay. clamps on. All right. Now I'm going to put this towards the bladder. Okay. Pump it up. Pump it up till it gets to the bladder area. Arr, Flip it, it over. Okay. Now you're now you're ready to pressurize the system. Okay. So now as you pump pressure into the system, you are actually pressurizing the system. Most systems are about 14 to 17 pounds. If in doubt, you can always look at the radiator cap. It's usually stamped on the radiator cap. Mm -hmm. And look for your leak. Once you get the pressure under, it should hold pressure for probably a couple of minutes. Look for a leak on the hose or wherever it would be. Once you've done your testing, you've got your repair fixed or you've got your testing done, now you need to relieve the pressure. Mm -hmm. Relieve the pressure is very simple, you have pressure there. As you push this over towards the bladder, through this hose and into some kind of a waste container, mm -hmm. you will force the fluid. Mm -hmm. And when that drops down, you watch that coming down to zero. And once that's down to zero, you can remove the, remove the system. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna test and watch. So how do you know where the leak is? because where the coolant was coming out of the radiator What if hose. it's dry? What if it's dry? Then it could be an internal leak inside the engine. <laughs> no, 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 I mean like if the system was dry. If the system, we... Well, then you'd have to put antifreeze or coolant back into it. to Put make some sure. fluid in or what about maybe like a stethoscope? Stethoscope Ooh, would work fantastic. Listen, in, listen, listen in. around for a little going on in there. Another little tip too, um, if you've ever, if you need to do a, a gas tank, especially like a motorcycle gas tank, keep the pressure really low. Yes. I mean, we basically yes. took one and went with about 12 pounds, it, 15 pounds. It doesn't I mean, take, it doesn't take a lot. No. So air on the side of going small. <laughs> exactly, exactly, um, exactly. All right, so while we're here, we got a few other cool tools. Yeah. This is really just to make you go, oh my gosh, yeah. that's so cool, I need one. Yeah, so we got, we've, with this, Brian, we have uh, coolant release tools for a lot of your radiator hoses, vacuum mm -hmm. hoses have a, a clamp on them that's a spring mm -hmm. type clamp. Now I, I see on this car we use a lot of tools that use the old worm style, but mm -hmm. here's an example of one of the hoses that has a spring type clamp. Mm -hmm. That goes on the spring type clamp. As you compress it, you can slide that clamp off down off of the hose. Oh yeah. There you go. Isn't there a little lock on this one? Too? It, it locks when you, when you cl clamp it. There oh, you go. There you go. it's there automatically you locked. See, I'm trying to lock. run the lock and it's already <laughs> automatic. That one works. And there's different styles. Like this one here is very easy to get at, so you should use a straight on one. Dude, this is the one I like. This, yeah, this I've is, used this one before. These are so cool. Yeah, because as that. you can get into like in a firewall or up against a tight area that yeah. you need to get a hose. Let me get over in here. There you go. And it still has the locking mechanism Maybe like we were here. talking about. I love these kind. These are so awesome. Anytime you pull one of these little, these this type out, Someone's always in the shop who's in amazement. You know what I mean? They're like, man, that guy's got everything. <laughs> and then also, here's a hook tool. that Once you get this clamp off of your vacuum hose or mm -hmm. radiator hose, even with this screw style clamp, that hose likes to get at it mainly growing to the component. So it right. adheres really strong. With this, get in the, between the hose and the, and the uh, metal piece or whatever you have mm -hmm. and slip it in there and work it around and it breaks that pain. seal. Oh, they can, they can really yeah, be tough to always, get in. They're always a pain. And you know, don't do this at home, but you know, <laughs> if you need to get in there and get some teeth clean, you can take care of that too. I'm sure it would work for that. Well, I, OTC has a lot of different uh, really neat tools for you. Their, uh, their lineup is really pretty crazy. You know what I mean? Every time I flip through there, I'm like, man, they've got one of those. 
So check them out, otctools.com. Mm -hmm.